Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast ban list special. Yes, it is ban list time. Uh, ben has still not seen the ban list, uh, so this will be a chat about it and a reaction all in one. But before we get to all that, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Ben? Uh, my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I once again played a uh, level one deck, Flippy... Mimigool. Yeah, Mimigool. It went really well again. Like, I still can't knock the deck. I'm really excited for the new support. Um, like, I almost went X1. I lost my last round. Um, turns out when you get hand looped, it's also pretty bad. Mm. But overall, really enjoying the deck. Really excited for the new support. Um, but yeah, I oh, yeah, can't complain. I can't complain at all. How was your week? My week was alright. Still uh, enjoying Fiendsmith Unchained. Uh, so... It'll be interesting to see how that all plays out moving forward. Um, Don't spoil anything for me. I'm not. Um, but yeah, um, I think Tuesday I went... I think Tuesday I went X2 because I just had some, like, god-awful matchups. Okay. But yeah, uh, keen to also put together uh, Fiendsmith Lightsworn moving forward as well. That is what I'm playing today. Oh, We're recording this pre-locals. Uh, this will be going up. A day early, so enjoy the day early podcast. Family special day early podcast. You won't be getting a regular podcast tomorrow. We're just going to do the whole thing here. Yeah, there's really not enough news to fill out another podcast on top of this, so... <laughs> also just the two of us. No one else wanted to talk about the band list because it must be that abysmally bad. We'll find out shortly. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, quickly on Master Duel, um, yeah, still playing uh, Hawkers, but... Um, Shifting over to a new strategy, uh, purely for the sake of the Master Duel proficiency test, because mm -hmm. uh, I activated the 100 spells necessary to move to level 16. Uh, and now I have to win, I think it's only five duels, but I have to win them with 2,000 or less life points. Oh, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Does it count AI matches? I don't think so. No, it's only ranked and like the like ones you're actually versing a person. So what I'm playing is Paleo tier. I get you. Just do transaction rollback and shenanigans. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to play Dynamorphia. <laughs> That's <laughs> like not going to get you the wins. <laughs> exactly, you yeah. To I get to the 2,000 match. life points, but then, oh, I lost again. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get started. Well, actually, before we get into the actual ban list, I want to talk a little bit about the preamble. Uh, the... Uh, Ah, yes. The, the communications that, was... that have been uh, the absolute fumble. I was dead prepared for there to have not been a podcast, uh, a band list actually drop. And I was like, we're just going to be talking about the week of, I guess, interlude. Yeah. That was the uh, horse vomit that was this week. Oh, God. I don't want to ever see that horse again. <laughs> um, so... I do really appreciate the photoshops. Yeah, look, like some people were very creative. Yeah. Like the the Nightmare Unicorn one, I thought it was great. Um, so, as we all know, the ban list was set, uh, like they didn't really have us a date. They gave us uh, late August. So like a normal person, I had a date range expected from about the 18th to maybe the 24th, 25th. Yeah. That's late August to me. Uh, Konami... When past that date, with still no news, uh, and then in their shadow uh, duelist thing, which I guess we can cover a little bit too. Super confusing. Yeah, um, I didn't even like remember there being an announcement for a stream. It just kind of happened. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, it was Zayn Malik. Um, when he took the helmet off, I was like, I have no idea who this is. Yeah, you had to be told. I had to be told. <laughs> I was pretty sure I knew who it was, but he grew out such an enormous beard, I didn't recognise him. Yeah, he then outed himself to all of his fans as a huge nerd. Ah, that's fine. You nerd. I feel <laughs> like a lot of the... Well, I say a lot. The two celebrities that have been, like, paid endorsements of, like... They've just latched onto this, like, tiny aspect of their lives from when they were, let's say, 9 to 15. At the very least, this one had PR training at an early age. So yes. maybe we're not going to find a whole, a whole rabbit hole of, uh, of things. Uh, interesting costume choices. I oh, know, I'm thinking... Yes. No, I'm thinking of the Canadian Prime Minister. Yes, I don't you think are thinking of <laughs> the Canadian Prime Minister. <laughs> the other guy definitely didn't do that. He was just straight up racist. Yeah, he just posted some <laughs> tweets. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, but in all of that, they decided to let us know that the ban list would in fact not be late August, but 
the absolute end of August, the 31st, and seemingly at the very last opportunity, because there was a very small window towards the end where it's like, are we getting it? Was it up when you woke up this morning? So it was up. Let's double check when it was posted to some some groups. Uh, da, 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 da. So the earliest that I saw it posted to the group, sorry, there's a bit to have to go through. This is very good. For, for full context, uh, at 10 p.m. last night, I messaged Jake saying, uh, I will not check the ban list. Uh, we will record it at this specific time. Find a third for the podcast. And then I locked my phone and have not opened it since. So the time that the ban list went into the, the chat mm -hmm. was 4.01 a.m. Oh, okay. So like the normal time. Yeah, like the normal time. But it's also still leaving a very small window, yeah. I feel. For it still being the 31st. Uh, wasn't the 31st for us, so Konami lied to Australia. Wouldn't be the first time. Um, so yeah, uh, here we are. Banless time. Banless time. So, we'll begin with bands. Would you like to know how many bands there are? No, no, we're going on cards individually. Go okay. cards individually. Our first one. We're going to talk about each card as we go? Yes. Okay, each card as we go. The first one... Which may catch you a little off guard. Fiend Smith Lacrima. That was quick. Yeah, real quick. Did they just ban Fiend Smith Lac Lacrima so that Beatrice could stay legal? I can either confirm or deny okay. this. Okay. That's my logic on that, is that you can leave Beatrice if you ban Lacrima. Also, maybe the reason why they printed Lacrima is a common. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, Lacrima and Sequence were the commons. But. I, I had a feeling there would be addresses to the Fiendsmith and like component of decks. I just didn't think it would be an actual Fiendsmith card. I yeah. thought it would be Closed Moon or whatever the hell it's called, or the Lurie, because that still leaves the Fiendsmith stuff intact, yeah. which entices people to buy the set, but it gets rid of the other stuff. It's a very strange move. Very strange. I was a bit perplexed by it. Like... You can still make the rank 6 package. It's just a you, lot harder. You just don't get the free value. Yes. Um, yeah. It's an interesting route. It's a very interesting route. Mm. Moving on to the next one. Appaloza. Oh, I kind of expected that. Had to go. Yeah, when we saw Savage and everything get banned, like... Appaloosa was probably going to be next. Yeah, free negates are like, gone. I no wouldn't more. be surprised if IP is also here. Um, just knock them both off, but we'll find that out when we get there. Um, I'd assume that means there was no main deck monsters banned. Anyway. Um, I expected hit. Expected hit. Yeah. Free, free negates on every inboard, bad. I did listen to someone's video yesterday that was complaining about how like Savage, Baron should all be legal and that you need to learn how to play if you can't out an inboard. Get okay. I, I get I get the point. I thought the point was pretty fair. I was like like yeah like building proper side decks helps you out these cards. To a point. Hmm. I think there is like especially now with the sheer number of generic negates that there can possibly be, I think it's a little redactive to say open the out. Yeah. But there's a lot of outs that exist now. There are, but like, we just can't keep going in this arms race of like, we need to make better negates because there's better outs because there's better negates because there's better outs. Yeah. Like, it does get to a point where the game just becomes paralytic in how unplayable it is because it's a case of like a die roll in effect yeah. like did you open the out no i win uh did you like yeah did you open the out and i can't out your out then i win it's yeah the generic negates need to go if they're in engine it's fine because then it's less accessible yeah i get you plus like a lot more decks especially with like you had the um i've forgotten the name of it now the melodious engine and the Fiendsmith engine we'll get to that allows you to you get to it playing. before you do whatever you, it is your deck's meant to do. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Next bit. Next one. Hot Red Dragon King Calamity. Get fucked, Kurt. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> um, 
Look, <laughs> again, this should have happened a while back. Um, yeah, this should have happened like, two bandlists ago. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate this hit. Now I don't have to put up with this anymore. Yep. Now it's just other stuff. Yeah. Which yeah. is fine. I can deal with other stuff. I can deal with a cosmic blazer. Like, no problem. It's one, one interruption. Off you go. Do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Uh, and then we have Beatrice. Why do both? Like, what... In what world is... I don't understand doing both Lacrima and Beatrice. It does feel a little bit, like, heavy-handed for Fiendsmith in particular. Like, I get that Beatrice is very generic and people were often running the Fiendsmith to get to Beatrice to do other shit. Like... Yeah, like, this... The Lacrima has to be a hit so that they can stop other decks from just randomly being like, this is now this plus Fiendsmith. Mm -hmm. But, like... Yeah, you probably should have not hit both. What else, What am I going to do with Burning Abyss? Also, Jake said finally, so that means that Shift is not banned. I didn't say finally. Oh, I thought he said finally. Are you going to tell me Shift is banned now? No! I look forward to playing Shifter. At one? Off to the Limiteds. I swear, they put, fucking, if they put Shifter to one, then so just put a banner down. Continue. Also, There's a skill, lot of these. Skill Dream. Yeah. Uh, first on the limited list is Eva. The fairy? Yeah. Coming back. Coming back to one. Okay, I thought they had already done that. No. Okay. I don't want to have to read Dry Tron. <laughs> you still don't have to, just wait until the end. And then realise they also have a turn skip card. Yeah, uh, but the Eva I... gets them hand traps. That's no, why Eva yeah, got true. banned, because yeah. Eva yeah. searches them... But they play, like, in the current Drytron, or at least what they feel will be the current, current Drytron builds, they're not doing, like, the full Herald of Perfection nonsense of just, like, yep, yeah, I have six interrupts for your six negates. Yeah, the Eva just searches them Herald of Orange Light. Yeah, I get that, I get that. But in the current builds, you're locked more so to the machiney aspect of Drytron, so you don't run as many fairies, so you don't have as many negates. Yeah, sure. Is the theory I think they're going with with bringing this back. Sure. And if it's a problem, get rid of it. Yeah, I definitely thought they had just unbanned this one now and banned Benton. No. Plus, like, there being Fiendsmith in the format means inherently there's also Bestials and uh, Drytron yeah, Stragals. Yeah, true. But, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. Sure. Next, Unlimiteds, Snake Eyes Ash. Yeah, expected. Expected. Yep, still Question has... Is, will there be multiple? Still has technically four copies with Bonfire. Uh... Bonfire is not limited. Bonfire Spoilers. has not been touched. Spoilers, uh, the card that's in the Megatins is not hit. I mean, Ash is in the Megatins too. Just so. Uh, a yeah. uh, card that's not in the Megatins, which is next, Snake Eyes Poplar. Oh, they also limited that. Yeah. Okay. Opening Poplar real bad now. Eh, hey, you can normal summon it, because you don't have a second Ash. Yeah, I know, but then you're like, you're in a more precarious position if that gets, like, hard interrupted. If you open Ash Poplar Bonfire, you have one card in your hand. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, that's fine. That's why Bonfire's a three. If you limit Poplar Bonfire, I can do whatever the fuck it wants. Yeah, pretty much. Next is number 40 Gimmick Puppet of Strings. Ah, that's fine. Expected. Yeah. yeah. What might not be expected is the next one. Number C40, Gimmick Puppet of Dark Strings. Okay, so they like, fully made, like, you can't FTK. Apparently you still can. Someone's yeah, but... already released a video, like, it is obviously a lot harder. I was going to say, surely it's not a one-card combo anymore. You would think not. I don't know enough about the deck to confirm or deny this. Yeah. <laughs> if it's still a one-card combo, good on them. I'm sure I can hand trap them. Because I'd imagine that one card is not the field spell. <laughs> True. Next, Brand of Fusion. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. Because um, they didn't ban the puppet and they didn't ban the sanctified dragon. They were like, <laughs> branded fusion? Yeah. Yeah, and like branded on Master Duel has shown that you can function with just one. Yeah. There are it's many all, ways to get it back. It's almost like you can summon a Luba. It's almost like you can send it to Grave and add it back with a trap. It's almost like you can just put in the Predator Plant package and go, Predator Plant, summon other Predator Plant, add. I now have two bodies on board that I can also use for a Predator Plant fusion. There are many ways to get to Brand of Fusion. Oh no. 
Uh, next is opening of the spirit gates. Yeah. You both need to have a hit in the somewhere. Yeah. 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 And like it still does have other packages, but the spirity, whatever the gods are called, the fake gods, the beast thingies, their level one zero package was like the best fit for it because like all the U Bell stuff is zero zero. Yeah. Um, next is Pot of Prosperity. Yeah, I kind of expected that as well. It's a little late, though. Yeah. Like, with but the I... Fiendsmith package, a lot of decks can't actually afford to run Pros because they need all of their extra deck. I think Pros to one is smart if you're banning Appaloosa. Mm. Because, like, realistically, Pros you use to dig for the breakers to out those cards. Mm -hmm. And I think if you have Pros but three and you're suddenly not having to deal with those cards it is now so much more powerful where you can just be like, what do I need to win instead of what do I need to be able to play? Yeah. Um, so limiting it, completely fair. Completely understand. Dragon Maid's taken up hit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> they, the deck that barely own, functions. I was going to say, I think it's taken a hit on the fact that it is a very old archetype. Yeah. Look, I get this. I, I thrive on old archetypes. My poor mech knights haven't seen outside the binder in so long. It's okay. They meta now. Are they? Eh, they meta enough. Next is Sangan Summoning. Yeah. Fair. Yep. You're hitting everything else. you got to do a hit to Tempai. Here's a hit to Tempai. Makes sense. Completely fair. And Prosp is kind of also a hit to them because it was one of the few meta decks that was still running Prosp. True. To, again, dig for the outs to then just punch and they can Wait. still do 16,000 damage. Now just like, oh no, we just play more breakers. Anyway... <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Uh, next, uh, a card coming back. Mm -hmm. That grass looks greener. Oh, okay. I, uh, oh. We be milling. <laughs> I never expected that to be a thing. Other than With, that. Uh, when is this banlist legal? Effective. Uh, this is coming into effect as of tomorrow. The first or the second? The second. Ah, imagine if it was legal the first, so it's an effective immediately list for us. <laughs> Yeah, no, they, they thankfully have given Australia a little bit of time. Yeah. I would have taken that effective immediately. I would have played it today. Done. Uh, as still a the quick list. update, uh, Josh has just posted in the uh, group chat, Salad is so back, baby. Ah, I'd assume that everything as if it that was... ever fucking left. Nothing changed with your deck. He's gone past Circular. Surely they didn't put Circular back to three. I'm just assuming that all the Salad cards that were still on the ban list are at three now. I didn't know there was still any there. I thought they got them all back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing changed with his deck. It was just ah. that other decks became slightly worse. Sure. And then... I when people want a Zelantis band. I mean, it would have been fine before Fiendsmith to ban Zelantis. Now it'd just be completely redundant. You'd just be hitting Pendulum for no reason. Yeah, true. Um, and then... Skill Drain. Good. Yes. But you didn't say Shifter, so here we are. Yeah. We still have three shifter in the format. It's like they unbanned grass to be like, it's okay, guys. You'll get hit by shifter. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to left arm offering my hand away and then get shifted on the activation of grass. Moving on to semi -lens. Yep. Our first blaster. Oh, is this just all, th all four? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah, we'll sweet. just skip it. Yeah. We should just put them all, th all the three. I mean, yeah, it is... Completely redundant, moving them to two. Completely redundant. Um, so yeah, moving past those four. Uh, Lunar Life Targa. That was at one, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Probably put it to three. Like, it's, it's another card that at two, it's kind of there. As long... Yeah, now that Apo is gone, mm. like, those types of engines where you just kind of get resources for free can just come back. Yeah. It's, it's probably fine. Yeah, put Ash back to three. <laughs> What are you going to do? Make an Appaloosa? Thunder Dragon Colossus. Yeah, it's fine. It's at one and no one's playing it. It's at two. What are you going to do? And on go back to doing Colossus, Colossus, Titan. Fun fact, you needed three Colossus for that. <laughs> <laughs> and Ib World Chalice Justice here. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Again, like, that should just be at three. Yeah. No one would ever, ever play two. Nah. Doesn't make any sense to have Unless it. you're playing pure World Chalice. Even then, you're making the second on the next turn. Yeah. And if you're playing World Chalice, you're probably playing that weird Exodia card that puts ship back in the deck for free, so it's like... Oh, yeah. 
probably. One is still probably fine. Yeah. And then we move on to free. How long's this list? This has seven cards. I appreciate that he had to count. Cool. There's a few. Yeah. Uh, so, coming back to three, Armageddon Knight. Yeah, that's fine. With yeah. grass, it's going to be fun, but that's fine. Mm. I mean, yeah, Bistial still being the format will ideally keep that shit in yeah. check. Unless it's... Mm, that we'll find out. I don't know. This is, like, pure Logan bait, I feel. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised I didn't put um, Dark Refer on here. He's still a one, isn't he? Mm, I don't know. I feel like he is. No idea. Let's say he is, for argument's sake. Um, he's a four. Red Rose Dragon. Yes. I feel like that doesn't do that much with um, Pisty Band, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not as powerful. Like, yeah. it can oh, do some stuff. LP. The one that summons from deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Pisty. I Pisty's think. Grave, I think. I can't remember which one's which. I yeah. never played. Because <laughs> you always would go, like, that engine into the all the arrows that point everywhere and off you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm fine with this. Um, next is probably not that surprising. Magispector Unicorn. That's fine. Does the Give same him, at one as it does the three. Yep. Uh, perform Mage Plush Fire. With the Errata, because the Errata went up early. Yep. Yes, yes it did. Uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon, again. Yep, Errata. One and three, does yep. nothing. Uh, Denglon. Yeah, fine. Fair. It's still not doing anything Ibs. in Dinos, which I was petrified about. Ah, that's fine. Ibs also legal, so like, yeah. But the thing with playing Denglon is you're just adding more bricks to your dinosaur deck, which already yes. has so many bricks. <laughs> Uh, and then Time Seal. Oh. Yeah. It doesn't... Like, the only decks, theoretically, that can do anything with it are ones that are playing Rollback, and even then, you're just effectively negging your opponent one card. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Unless you can loop them another way. Yeah, but even then, they're still just skipping their next draw phase, so I feel like it stacks on that one draw phase. Yes. But if you can... Use like levy and need to rip cards out of the hand with the unbanned uh, rose dragon. There's probably ways to at least rip two or three cards out of your hand and then have this card set up. It's fine because you've already been shifted. Oh yeah, I forgot you've been shifted. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, that is probably the glaring uh, omission I see from this. Is Why that... would they not? They did everything else except maybe hit the actual puppet lock and instead of just limited brain infusion. But yeah. It seems strange to do everything except Shifter. Yeah, and it's not as if Shifter hasn't been highlighted as, like, a overperforming card. Like, Ritual Beast is performing incredibly well. I need some Ritual Beast call. Anyone want a Ritual Beast call? I've got one. It's been sitting on my desk for the past month as I've been I mean, like, I need to you, sell this. If you bought Battles of Legend, you've got, I'd say, 80% of a Ritual Beast call. But I have the expensive cards that aren't True. Battles of Legend. <laughs> so if you want to spend some money for the next three months... Uh, Maybe. Uh, oh, I'm assuming the touch. list didn't say like a... It does not have a uh, no date. So that's the other thing that's perplexed me is that it's only up on socials. It's not on any of the oh, really? websites. It's only in social media, uh, which has been like the whole campaign seemingly. They only want to announce things on socials. Um, oh, that was the other thing that really annoyed me about that ban list thing. Uh, oh, no, sorry. I'll take that back. You have to watch their fucking YouTube video to see the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah It's yeah. just it's... not on the website. What the fuck? Yeah, it really... It do... I don't understand it. It goes back to that comment that I made in chat the other day of, like, Konami's not paying people outside of uh, work time to do stuff. And I feel like that couldn't be automated for whatever reasons. <laughs> like, we'll just update it Monday. I also hate the fact that, like, I miss the old-fashioned scroll through the ban list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I it's just like you hit you... with everything. Yeah, I hate that so much. Yeah, it makes reactions very hard. Like you effectively have to get someone to pre-make it for you so you can scroll. Pretty but much. Like... You have to do this where you have someone read them off one by one to you. But even then, it's not the same because like you're going through and you're like, oh, that's still there. That's still there. Wait, that's not there. <gasps> it's not the same, Konami. Bring it back. Um, so yeah, no date as to when the next one's coming in until they update the website. It'll so say a few months from now. Yeah. No Christmas likely. ban list. Yeah. They're going to be like, it's going to be end of December, guys. And then <laughs> everyone's going to be like, Christmas, it's got to be Christmas. 8pm on a fucking New Year's. 
Painless is going to upload when I'm in Japan. True. Um, so, yeah. Um, things that will come out of this, obviously, Ritual Beasts will be incredibly powerful. It doesn't have to play through as much. And I least, think they only really lost an Appaloosa, which they yeah. weren't always making. But the Appaloosa was the problem. That board is significantly harder out of to have an Appaloosa plus their shit. Yeah. Although, I had no idea what Ulti Guy Paleo did until the other day when Harry was uh, basically forced to summon it against me. It's an Omni Negate. Who oh. knew? Yeah. <laughs> but why it doesn't show up on the board more often? <laughs> like, they do have to banish Ritual Beasts from their hand specifically, but it uh, negates that's, anything. That's why. That's why. Because you're, like, hard losing resources. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, what else? I mean, Snake Eyes is still fine. It's just a little bit more fragile. Um, and theoretically, they don't play the Fiendsmith package anymore. Maybe? So many motorcyclists. Yeah, sorry they're, if you're hearing all that. They're out there doing the deal with the duels and the racing. <laughs> um, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. I'm sure I will get shifted over the course of the next three months and it's going to be great. We're all going to get shifted over the... What if I play months. Shifter decks? What if I just keep You playing? are playing a Shifter deck. You are actively playing a deck with Shifter in it. I just said I was playing Lightsworn. I mean, today you're playing Lightsworn, but you were playing Mimigul. I can't wait to not draw my one-off call by the grave in 60 cards. <laughs> All my... Surely I just play three cross out as well with the one Shifter in there. Yeah. I'm going to draw that Shifter so many fucking times. Or the Gamma. You can play Gamma. Gamma? One Gamma? Yeah. Draw the one gamma or the one driver. At least if I mill the driver, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, just quickly on some other news. Uh, we had a bit of an update for the upcoming World Championships for Master Duel. Uh, so, a couple things going on there. Um, so, they've got a tryout duel going at the moment. The win three, get a pack thing. Uh, mm -hmm. This one is for Fusion Gate. Both players start with a Fusion Gate. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying you get like a Fusion Gate mate. I was like... Oh, <laughs> it's just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, like, so oh. both players start with a fusion gate in play. Uh, the th like I was actually kind of thought it was cool. Maybe like you hit the fusion gate and a different fusion pops his little head out. <laughs> That'd be cool for Dragon Mirror, actually. More dragons. Yep. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, that one's running uh, until the third. Um, and then we've got some accessory bundles. Uh, so uh, these you get a bunch of like stuff, uh, the like icon, the background, and all that. Uh, plus ten uh, packs, uh, costing a thousand gems. So you're effectively buying the packs and getting the assets for free. So the two uh, monsters that are incorporated with this are the alternate art of Stardust Dragon, which is ugly, uh, and uh, Junk Warrior. What I don't get about these alternate arts they did for the 5D stuff is they're just like, guys, what if we zoomed out showing less detail of the card that you like? I just, like, the Stardust looks like an alien in the alternate art. It, it doesn't so look anything like a dragon, except for, like, the wings. It just looks like fucking Flame Wingman, except you put a fucking hat on his head that's dragon. <laughs> the one... Uh, five days alt art I did like was the Black Rose Dragon. And I understand that not everyone's going to like the Black Rose Dragon, but I quite like the Black Rose Dragon because it's got like the synchro rings and stuff going on and it's flying. And it, it, I like that one. Thank you for explaining it to me. I just didn't know what it was. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then what else is there going on? Oh, and then they've got like the vote for your team kind of thing where like you effectively place a bet on whichever team you think is going to win the Master oh, uh, World okay. Championship and you get stuff based on who you vote on if they do well. I think I didn't win that last year because I bet on Smith's team. No, they lost the final. Yeah, I kind of just put it for um, Europe plus others was the uh, group. Ah, okay. So, yeah. Go Again, Europe plus others! Yeah, we're, I think we're included in others, but just not included in others. Um, Bastards. Good luck to Fox. I don't think we'll have another podcast before Worlds. Good luck. Oh, yeah, true. Is yeah. So that's this weekend. This next weekend. 
So seven days from now? Seven days from now. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yes. From at the time of recording and uploading. I think when this podcast... When the podcast next week goes live, it'll be over. So, I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah. Um, and seemingly they'll be doing the thing where they're like live streaming the Master Duel matches through Master Duel as well. So you can watch along, yeah. which is cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, looking forward to the stream of that. We'll see what ends up winning Worlds, uh, which I think I've already said I feel like will be Ubel. Yeah, it's going to be Ubel. Ubel or Tempai. Well, Tenpai is quite... Loses to Ubel, so Ubel. <laughs> well, no, like, Ubel seemingly doesn't have any hits to it for the OCG, like the world's list, whereas Tenpai is only running one Sangen. And one Prosp. And one Prosp. It's just the Tenpai that we now have for our format. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, With spoilers in the OCG, still does quite well. Yeah. I mean, they also have Maxi. So they also like, do have Maxi. You can go first. Draw! <laughs> Perulia! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Perulia, the new flappy hand trappy. Perulia, Perulia, or Perulia, Petulia. Maxi. Maxi. Mulchami, Petulia. I'm going to draw 17. Um, so, we move on to some questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Well, we also have that question from Drew D. Don't forget the question from Drew D. Where was that again? It's in the uh, uh, messaging group. Okay, well, I might just do that one now. Hi, Drew D. Welcome back. Yes, I'm so glad you found us We again. never went away. We thought you were dead. Um, do, 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 did do. we mention Drew D like a, fruit, a few weeks ago? Yes. And then yes, he just he pops up out of the yeah. out of the great beyond. So, Welcome um, back. So, from our YouTube channel. Uh, hey, guys, it's Drew. I thought you guys quit podcast like two years ago as my feed just dropped. Little did I know you must have just gotten a new link or something. And my podcast player... Never updated until I searched Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast recently. Anyway, one of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s biggest swing factors is whether you go first or second. What do you guys think of the player who's going second gets a second normal summon or set on their first turn of the game? Is that too much? How far would that go towards making going second a more fair or even something players may choose to do? I think now... After this ban list, there is no need for a change. Going second is you already get the extra card. You're no longer having to play through effectively turn skips, um, unless you get puppet locked. You still don't open a hand trip against Brandy. You're still getting puppet locked. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think I, I think the extra card is is a lot, and it goes a long way, especially if you are hard going to breakers. I think in game one is where the biggest difference is. So yeah. in game one specifically, it is a very big detriment to go second. Um, it's why your side deck building becomes so important. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, I don't think it's required. Um, who knows, things could change and we could get some more oppressive cards or some more oppressive decks that make going first so much more busted. Um, but unless it's in game one specifically for a rule change, I don't really see a need for it. Yeah, um, it sort of goes back to that thing we were talking about earlier with like the arms race. Um, the power of going first has been brought down a bit currently, mm. so we don't really need to make any significant changes for going second. Yeah, um, it should be fine as is. There is also a going second deck in the format. Yes, um, it's like one of the first times in a long time where there is a deck bespoke built for going second yeah. that can perform no longer winning a blind die roll and going i'm going first is the safest option you can possibly do yes um so then we move back to our discord um the first question from our discord is from six last six hi six last six uh what did oh wait no we did that one last week we did that one last week sorry uh, it's still fr it's still from fir the first from six last six still from six last six hi six last six um don't make me say it two times like a tongue <laughs> Do you think Konami missed the point of giving us the announcement of the ban list announcement? Yes. Yes. Not yeah. It was ineffective. It was I know why they didn't update the website. Because like the fucking what happens in Japan is when they give the date for the announcement of the ban list, it crashes the website because everyone goes to the website and starts uploading it and refreshing it as much as they can to try and find the ban list. I guess, but like That's why they didn't do it. They said this is Twitter's problem. Off you go. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was, it was bad. It was poorly handled. Yeah, like, if you're going to release it on the 31st of August, 
don't say near the end of August. Be just say at the end of August, literally the thirty first. Yeah, like there's nothing changed between today. There and were no four tournaments days ago. for you to go. Mm, yes, let's consider this and that. Yeah. Like once that YCS ended, just release the ban list. Yeah. Like unless you're crunching data from that, maybe they crunched data from that and went, oh, no water shift off. So yeah, off we go. Um, at which point, fuck you guys for not playing Shifter at that YCS. Everyone should have <laughs> just played Shifter for the meme. That's going to be the next hat. Two years from now, we're still going to be playing with Shifter and, and Dimensional Shifter Oceans 2025. It's the only way to get a band. We got Mystic Mind Band with the hats. Snake Eyes has been hit with the hats. We need hats for, for Shifter. Dimension Shifter YCS 2025. Yeah, do you know what those hats are? Those colourful hats with a little whirly thing on it. Yeah. <laughs> I will legitimately play Shifter in my deck and every time I draw it, just spin it and go, Shifter! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so motivated to go to Oceans now. <sighs> um, next question is from Tuesday's Noob. Uh, Hi, Tuesday's I, Noob. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, cancel that. Oh, wait, no, cancelling that. Yep. Uh, the next question is from Caleb. Hey, Caleb. Uh, orange juice or apple juice? Orange juice. Yeah, I think I'm an orange juice person. I used to be an apple juice person, but as a man matures, orange <laughs> juice is the way to go. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, apple juice is fine on occasion, but like if I had to pick a, a go-to, it'd be orange juice. Orange juice just feel, makes you feel more refreshed. Well, the salt content of apple juice makes you more dehydrated. It's also so very sweet. It is quite sweet. Mm. Like orange juice is sweet, but apple juice is... Apple black currant, though. Yeah, yeah. I do rate that. Yeah. Has like a, a bit of a zest. Juice tier list. S tier, orange juice. B tier, apple juice. Maybe a high B tier for apple and blackcurrant. Pineapple juice? No, well, pineapple juice is like a C. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd put it for further up personally. Mm. But anyway, that's a whole nother conversation. Apple ju uh, pineapple juice is an afternoon juice. Pineapple juice for breakfast, it doesn't quite get. Mm. Anyway. Um... <laughs> Last question is again from 6 6 How often? I said I was going to say again. <laughs> how often do semi-limits on the ban list actually impact play? Recently, like, not at all. Um, because they seemingly just want to fill the semi-limited list with cards that realistically shouldn't be there. Um, yeah. A lot of what the TCG does with semi-limits is just bring back cards that are um, should be as impactful at yeah, one as they are at three. Yeah. Like, just filling up needless characters on a ban list. I think the only time the semi-limited list has ever mattered uh, is whenever Malicious is on it. Yes. Because it's always on it at some point. There'll be another two years and it'll be back there again. Um, maybe now that we've got Grass, maybe we'll see it go back there again. But well, the thing is, like, you're not as reliant on rank sixes now. So, like, and you don't have an Appalooza to, like, endlessly spin material into. So... Having three malicious will fall with the little dude. It's like neither here nor there. <laughs> I've just had the realization that we're not going to get to enjoy a domain, uh, that grass looks green or locals because where we have the kind of locals where when people can play it, everyone just plays a 60 card deck. Remember the last time true. we did the banlist tournament? Is, yeah, it's like the uh -huh. first card unbanned and everyone played a 60 card deck, so it never ever resolved. <laughs> But was that because we all wanted to play 60 card decks or was that because it was strategic because yeah. we knew that people wanted to play mill? Like, but it's like, if, uh -huh. I'm, if I'm playing Light Swan now, I'm playing 60 cards, but I don't know if I'll put uh, Grass in. You can put it in as one of. You better believe I'm going to put in... Oh, I can play Grass Paleo. Yes. With um, I can play Fiend Comedian again. Mm -hmm. My opponent mills 20. Oh, sorry, I activate Fiend Comedian. Uh, I mill 20. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> or I, I put all your graveyard back. Yeah. Um, Get rid of oh, no, it gets banished, doesn't it? Yeah. Bye-bye. Strong. Um, and then with transaction rollback getting reprinted as well, that makes it even better. Mm. I missed. Anyway, <laughs> try again. again. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the TCG mismanages as the um, semi-limit Rollback's list. in the tins, yeah? Yes. Sweet. It's been confirmed. I'll need that. Yeah, and I can tell that because of uh, recent prices for the original transaction Trump's. rollback real low <laughs> maybe I buy it now sell me your transaction rollbacks on the cheap even though I don't have any money until I get paid next <laughs> but when that happens sell him stuff 
need low money. You buy my, you buy my, 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 my ritual beast call. <laughs> buy it. <laughs> buy it now. Or trade in your transactions. Actually, no, you'd be losing on that. We'd also I get rid know. of a Ritual Beast Core. I don't know how to value the Ritual Beast Core, hence the reason why I just haven't put it up for sale. I mean, it's probably worth more now, because it is seemingly the only deck that didn't get hit. I'll put it up on auction tomorrow. We'll find out. Auction the Ritual Beast Core. Leave in the comment section down below. <laughs> I'll post the link <laughs> put, your guess as to, <laughs> put your guess into what it's going to sell for. Oh, I thought you were going to link your auction in the, the YouTube the first description. first 24 hours of watching this podcast, <laughs> you'll be able to guess of what it's going to sell for. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, but that does conclude us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, we'll catch you after the world stream. Uh, but yeah, if you are no, watching we, along... We won't know the results for worlds. The state of world wouldn't have happened yet. Next week. Uh, close uh, but thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you next week. Peace. Bye.